Welcome back to UCTV, folks. This is our first episode of the school year, so we hope you enjoy. We have the scoop on everything sports-related, FA events, and attendance month. All this and much more on this week's UCTV. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This whole world confusing me. FCA, FCA, we have put a sign-up sheet on the library door. FCA stands for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. So Thomas, how is your senior year of baseball going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, we have a pretty good record right now, and I just think it's going to be a great season this year. How's the uh, first year's uh, fast pitch going for you? It's going really well. I mean, we have turned a lot of amazing plays, I'm not going to lie. So let's send it to Kennedy and Bryson to see what's up with sports this week. Hey guys, the baseball team is doing great this year. They start out the season with only one loss to undefeated Oilton. How's softball going, Kennedy? Pretty good. Our record is 3-7 and seven right now, which isn't bad considering it's our first year fast pitch. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Are there any memorable moments from the earlier part of the season? Well, we went out and won our first home game after being down 7-0 and ended up beating Cash in 12-9 before the season started. We were practicing and over the summer, we had some games, and let me tell you, it was hot. Anything memorable in baseball so far? Besides the extreme heat, well, we beat Colton Armstrong's Wildcats. It was a former alumni, 16-2, to start off the Tigers' season. In the same tournament, freshman Braden Armstrong, Colton's nephew, hit a walk-off to win the game. Well, the weather wasn't the only thing that was hot. Did you get a good look at Coach Armstrong? <laughs> Yikes. Back to you, Thomas and Emily. Thank you, Bryson and Kennedy. As you know, we take a lot of pictures at all of our sporting events. We use these pictures on our social media accounts to shout out amazing plays by our very own players. So please go look at these and give us a like, a share, or a retweet. The journalism class has become beat writers for sporting events around Union City. Now, whether or not the stories go up is completely up to the students. So if they do, make sure you give them a pat on the back for a good job. Also, speaking of news, we have a new resource officer. His name is Officer Buer. Uh, what's, what's a resource officer? I don't really know either. Let's send it to JC, because lucky us, she has a scoop this week. Hi, I'm JC Still with the UCTV, and I'm joined here with the new school's resource officer. I want to be the first one to welcome you. Um, would there be anything you could tell me, the audience, about, about your past? You know, well, a little bit about I, yourself. I can. Uh, I've actually been in law enforcement for 18 years. I uh, started back up in South Dakota. Uh, moved down here where it was a whole lot warmer. Um, I've been with the Surreal Police Department, uh, Murden PD, and now I'm here at Union City. So I've been involved with the schools on in all aspects with every department I've been to, to before. but. Uh, this is the first time I've actually done a specific school resource officer uh, position, and, and I think it's going to be a good time. I think I'm going to be able to make a big difference in what the kids see uh, and how they see law enforcement, and that's really what I want to do. So what are you going to be doing as a resource officer here? Mostly what I'll be doing here is be walking up and down the halls, making sure you know, that I'm visible, people can see me, uh, making sure kids are going to class when they need to, in class, making sure they're not late, tardy, all the truancy things that, that state law has that we have to enforce, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. What are you looking forward to about being here at Union City? The, the best part that I want to look forward to is the, the change in perception of law enforcement. Um, for Verdon, for example, when I, I came from there, when I first showed up, they never 
but cops, they would run away at all ages. And then finally, uh, I was there for two years, uh, last about six, seven months I was there, kids would start coming up and talking and, and, and say hi and ask how my day is. And, and that's the change that I want to see. I want to, I want to break that perception that, that law enforcement is only if you're in trouble. Because that's not what we're here for. We're here for if you need help or if you need just to talk to somebody. So that's what we're here for. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Back to you. Wow, resource officer viewer sounds pretty cool. I know. I really can't wait to meet him. And I am totally sorry for the topic change, but how are your college classes going? They're going really well. Um, I've switched to some online courses, and it's, it's working out really great. How are your classes? They're really good. My professors are pretty cool. But did you know that we're not the only ones taking college classes here? But who else is? Our very own lovely Miss Kohler. <laughs> so we sent Carson over to see how she's doing. Hi guys, I'm here with the one and only Miss Kohler. So, Miss Kohler, we heard some rumors last year about maybe you possibly going back to college. Is that true? Uh, it was true. I did start back to school in May of last school year. Uh, I took three classes over the summer and I'm going to Southeastern, which is completely online, so I don't have to go to Durant for anything. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stay in bed for school. Um, <laughs> So what do you plan on getting a degree in? I'm getting my master's in school counseling. Okay. So what are you going to do with that? I hope that maybe in 10 years or so when I'm ready to possibly leave the classroom, uh, that would give me another option rather than getting another job entirely. Yeah. So how is it to balance your schoolwork and your, like, Last word. It's incredibly hard because there aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done and I require lots of sleep or I'm an awful person. Well thank you for your time. <laughs> That's all we have here. Back to you guys. Congrats to Miss Kohler. We are so proud of you Miss Kohler. Hey, do you know who else we should be proud of? Ourselves for making this awesome UCTV episode? No. Well, yes but I met all the FFA students who competed in the El Reno County Fair this week. Oh yeah, Caden was talking about that earlier. Let's see if he has any more information on those stories. Hello Union City, my name is Caden Borneman, and I'm here at the Union City Ag Farm to talk to you about last weekend's Caden County Free Fair hosted in El Reno. During the fair, there's a number of events to attend, such as the Livestock Show, the Farmhand Olympics, the Rodeo, a small concert, and of course the Carnival Rides. During the Livestock Show, Union City's own Chloe Allen, Jaden Stryka, and Katie Smith won Grand Champion in their respective livestock entries. The State Fair of Oklahoma starts September 12th and runs through the 22nd. I hope to see you there. Wow, congrats to all those students. Hey, Emily, is it cold in here to you? I mean, kind of, but have you been outside lately? Of course not. It's way too hot outside, isn't it? I, I don't know. Erin, can you help us out here? Hey, of course I can help out, but sadly it is crazy hot outside and it will continue to be hot with the highs in the 90s this week. But we are hoping that the cool front will finally come through at some point. So make sure to drink a ton of water and stay hydrated out there. Until then, I'm Erin Carbs, UCTV Winner. Sadly, it does sound like it's going to be hot for a little bit longer, so you don't have to wear your hoodie. I know. Hopefully we don't die of a heat stroke during the game. I know. As much as I love dying of heat stroke every game, not. I do enjoy being there with my team, and I wouldn't want to miss it for the world, which is why I show up to class every day, because if I don't, I would not be allowed to play. I feel the same way. Being part of a team is great, but so is showing up to school and seeing friends and your favorite teachers, which is why September is Attendance Month. We send Chrislin into the field to make sure all Union City students are being accounted as present. Hello Union City, this month is a very special month for schools all around the nation. September is considered Attendance Month. We want all students to take initiative to show up to classes regularly and on time. It shows that if you show up to class, your grades will be better, you will eventually get a more successful job, and you won't get in trouble as much. And finally, you will have a more better high school experience. To make sure this, Mr. Carroll has been talking to all the students in the high school, trying to make sure that they understand that showing up to class is very important for your future. One of the big points Mr. Carroll has made is that if you're not in school, you can't learn, making you behind the learning curve. 
So make sure you go to classes, not just this month, but every month. From September 3rd to October 3rd, we will be tracking attendance. If you hit a certain percentage, we could potentially get an all-day ce celebration, half-day celebration, or a one-hour celebration. I will have more on this next week. I'm Chris McKinney. Back to you. Sadly, for Thomas and I, we have to show up every day to our college classes because if we don't, it takes off our final grade. And lucky us, Schmidt's class is pretty fun, so we like showing up to, her, to his classes. Well, of course, that's it for this week, folks. Until next time, I'm Thomas Morris. And I'm Emily Lockridge. Stay classy, UC.